Our first caller is Oliver from Michigan. What's up, Oliver? How can we help you? What's your question? Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, so I've been running MAPS Anabolic, the at-home mod, for about nine weeks now. Um, and I'm just looking uh, for ways to improve my deadlift form and was wondering if there's any specific trigger section or uh, body weight exercises that might help me out there. Oh, great question. First off, mm. how's the, uh, because we, for maybe people listening don't know this, but we put uh, dumbbell only ver uh, you know, modifications in most of our programs so people could do them at home with just dumbbells. How's that working for you, by the way, otherwise in the, the past nine weeks? Uh, it's been great. Um, you know, the programming has really allowed me to make some gains uh, while being at home. Uh, it's also helped with just connectivity and uh, slowing things down and uh, working on form as well. Excellent. Now, what, now in your deadlift, where do you feel like you have the problem? Uh, I would say keeping my shoulders rolled back. Mm -hmm. uh, the hip hinge, not so much an issue, but keeping my shoulders rolled back uh, is a little bit harder, especially without the bar. Okay. So a couple things I would recommend. One is uh, to do prone cobra as a priming movement before you do your deadlift. So prone cobra, if you're not familiar with the exercise, we have it on our Mind Pump TV YouTube channel, but it's phenomenal for what you're talking about, a scapular retraction. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing I would recommend is to do uh, one-legged deadlifts yes. with your shoulders uh, pinned back. That'll really uh, help you out. Okay. I just was answering literally a similar question on the forum this morning. So that single leg deadlift is exactly what I recommended. So I, I, that's the way I go. I love, uh, and I don't know, Oliver, if you've gone through my Instagram, but I was posting that for a while, probably, I don't know, last year sometime. So if you go back enough uh, videos, you can see me, uh, you know, showing the technique of it. But uh, it's tough. It's a, it's a challenging exercise to get good at. But once you get good at it, you'll see some serious carryover into your deadlift. Definitely. Cool. Uh, thanks guys. I appreciate it. No problem, ma'am. Thanks for calling in. No problem. Take care. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of people don't realize that if they get good at a single legged deadlift with weight, their normal deadlift is going to skyrocket. I noticed that myself. It's like, uh, I didn't think I would have that much carryover, but it's pretty remarkable. Yeah. It's interesting. It reveals a lot of the imbalances, especially, uh, when you, when you do it with one leg and that's what I love about that. And two, to, to bring those shoulders back and everything I didn't bring up, but you know, just our wall test is, is great for that as well to, to work on. Well, oh, I, I think everybody needs a little hip strength and, and stability. And I just think that there's, that's one of the best movements for it. And, I don't care what level you're at. I can regress that all the way down for a 70-year-old woman that's doing it or somebody who's a 25-year-old athlete that can like lift, you know, 400 plus pounds on a deadlift. You can make that exercise extremely difficult and you can make it and you can regress it enough to where you can do it with somebody who's very uh, old. Exactly, mm -hmm. but yeah, that uh prone cobra has got to be one of the more underrated movements. I don't ever oh, really see anybody do it, but what a great movement for people especially for posture and just to activate that mid-back yeah, especially to prime right before you go to do that totally